Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through Morton's Neuroma. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash footproblems or in the orthopedic surgery section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Morton's neuroma refers to the dysfunction of a nerve in the intermetatarsal space between the toes, towards the top of the foot. The abnormal nerve is usually located between the third and the fourth metatarsal. It's caused by irritation of the nerve relating to the biomechanics of the foot. As the foot's moving during activities, it irritates the nerve. Wearing high heels or narrow shoes may exacerbate the problem because they squeeze the metatarsals together, irritating the nerve further. Typical symptoms are pain at the front of the foot at the location of the lesion, the sensation of a lump in the shoe, and a burning numbness or pins and needles sensation felt in the distal toes. There are several ways to test for Morton's neuroma. Applying deep pressure to the affected intermetatarsal space on the dorsal foot, on the back of the foot, will cause pain with a Morton's neuroma. There's a special test called metatarsal squeeze test, which involves squeezing the forefoot with one hand to create a concave shape to the plantar aspect of the foot, making a hollow shape with the bottom of the foot and then using the other hand to press the affected area on the bottom or the plantar side of the foot. And this will cause pain in a Morton's neuroma. Finally, there's Mulder's sign, which is a painful click that's felt when you use two hands on either side of the foot to manipulate the metatarsal heads in order to rub the neuroma. An ultrasound or MRI scan can be used to confirm the diagnosis of a Morton's neuroma. Management options include adapting activity, for example, avoiding high heels, analgesia with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs if they're suitable, insoles, weight loss if appropriate, steroid injections can be used, and there's the option of radiofrequency ablation or surgery. And surgery can involve excising or removing the neuroma. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube. You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.